Hello Internet! Today we're gonna do a very, very unprepared go war. Today we will be showcasing operating system. I did get her in 20 summons. <laughs> She's like the weirdest thing. There's like two prominent operating systems out there for phone. There's like iOS and Android. And she, her name is OS, which, you know, is partly iOS. And she's an Android. So she's basically maybe a Chinese brand. You're doing me a confused. But nonetheless, these will be her stat. I will show it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give a rather thorough rundown later. But yeah, right now, I have um, 29 minutes before Guild War ends. So you know what? And we're actually facing some really tough um guild it's power level apparently it's um a top 100 guild we already lost this but we're gonna nuke them first thing we're gonna burn the bazaar we're gonna pavel the Bologna, and we're gonna serve you the chow and hopefully it works i have 20 minutes left looking at the time stresses me out second team i really am not sure how am i gonna use her yet because honestly i don't know how to Fit her in a comp. She's right now in a speedy um, DPS build, and that's about it. The idea is to survive long enough for OS to literally one tap all three of them, except RB because he's gonna get taken care of by um Dominic Luca. So here we go. We do have the superior number of rank 69, so we are absolutely gonna win. All right, so this is the first test of luck. So if we get cut here, well, the war is gonna end pretty quick. Yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, that's not good. All right, now I'll do this. Boom. So we should be able to kill her quite easily. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, at least we're gonna kill the Bazaar and next turn, when my bird gets to move, that's a dead SSB anyway, and Sermia with the protection as well. That's why you use the SCED. Sermia's thighs still need protection, that's what they think. So this won't kill me. I forgot I got provoked. No, my bird, how dare you? Did he hit my Sermia? He didn't hit my Sermia. I mean, I think he did. All right, fuck it. Well, let's do. Boom, it's gone. It's done. Ah, oh, we have like 19 minutes left. I swear if you kill my power with this. Right, just die. Just, just die. Ah, every minute counts. But right, here we go. Operator cigarettes. So first of all, we need to kill the army. If we fail here, we're just fucked. And boom, we should be able to kill considering we crit. And there we go. We do have the barrier there. We don't have attack buff. So here's the skill. Here's the cool part about her. You can actually penetrate 100% defense if the target has a barrier. So that is like the exploit that we're gonna have to use. I do actually think ML Ken can actually just solo me, but you know what? I'm gonna go onto ML Ken as sort of like a damage test. Let's try it. And no, that is so bad. All right. Shit. <laughs> well, given I didn't have a type off, if I had a type off, that would probably have gone a lot differently. But nonetheless, the dream is still on because now we revive. Not only we do revive, we have invincibility. That means next turn, Operator Secret should be able to fire S3 without having to be afraid of counter. If you just one tap me, like my Ludica from there, I'll be shot. And we actually need Ruel to not be a prick this time. Just don't crit. I swear to god. Oh, come on, Ruel. Ruel! Oh yeah, this does decrease combat readiness. So yeah, here we go. This is the first S3. We will get decrease on CR and we actually strips as well, which kind of doesn't really make sense because she needs the barrier to do more damage, right? All right, so we're gonna fire away with this. Boom. We have two more turns until she can do it again. What the crud do I do now? I can't do much. Do not proc. Do not. Do not proc! Now's not the time to proc it! This is not good, we have 16 minutes left. I can't afford to stay here, gosh damn. All right, do not do that much damage, Sigrid. Just don't, just don't. All right, that's good, that's actually fine. We need to hit someone. And someone's gonna die if I do. I'm just gonna go on the ML can, I, I have to. I might actually kill the ML can, like, right off. Oh, come on. What the fuck does she even do then? Oh, this is fun. This is very fun. Luluka just killed, like what, all three of the units? All right, so. Right, after testing that out, I do believe the better way to use her is actually not having her on a speedy DPS build. But we're gonna still try this out because I already have her build. It did do quite a bit of damage to the ML can just based off that barrier though. I do believe that using her means that you want to find FCCs to fight. Nonetheless, we're just gonna keep on going. Right, I honestly don't see myself really winning. I think we need to figure another build out, but for now, we'll try out her speed DPS capabilities with attack buff. We've also do lots. So yeah, the idea in the first team, they all have barrier first turn. Hopefully, we kill the RB with Diablo Luka, and we're gonna off slots into Operator 
system. It's either that or Operator Waifu. And we're gonna snipe that Charles like how an Operator would. Second team, Bologna. Let's go. It is an injury Bologna, so we're gonna take care of that well quite simply, I would believe. I think I saw Adamant on that um, FC six. Right, so I should talk. Um, <laughs> oh, we definitely lose now. Fucking 90% crit rate. We're already dead because 90% just gave up on me. At least we can make this a damage test now. Huh? We have Adam and Shield on FCC. A barrier on Charles. That means we're gonna ignore all his defense. So let's see what the damage looks like. And boom. That's insane, dude. Holy shit. That's 22k, which is honestly pretty insane. All right. Oh my god. That didn't even do too little but we we're gonna have to yield because yeah that s3 actually did quite a bit as well right i don't know how am i gonna make this i have like nine minutes left and it's an injury set um battle so what do we know about injury set battle it takes so long it's disgusting so can you do me a favor and just kill me oh god we have eight minutes left somehow kill them below that somehow just i mean ah, it's not it's not gonna work i mean there's a well there but we're gonna be here for a while but yeah this is injury set below now i'm definitely i think i should win this quite simply as long as school attack don't happen i might have to yield this just to show operator secret in another setup perhaps i mean honestly though we were gonna win that um first fight 90 percent crit rate if that happened we would have won that also just as an update if you're using injury set below now, if you're using injury set in general if you're facing a blue crowd and injury set chips off oh, on like 50% of his HP, he won't horse. He will only horse if he reach half of the HP he has left. Right, injury set's doing work very slowly. There's seven minutes left. How am I gonna freaking make it, dude? If we were gonna have a chance, it's now. Do not heal yourself. All right, we're good. Here's the thing about injury set against Ruel again. I know I stressed this a lot last video, but if you missed it, against Ruel, Ruel will heal if she takes like you know, 20%, maybe 30% of the damage of her HP off. So, with injury set, you chip off that max health. So, she will rarely ever get to do S2-S3. I mean, this actually didn't take that long. Ruel might kick the bucket here, but you know what? Ruel needs to die sometimes. Come on, you can do this. Five minutes left. We should be we should be fine. We should absolutely be fine. This is actually a very good win. I'm very happy with this. A drink Bologna would probably have a harder time here because Ruel will be reviving, healing, and revi reviving. But yeah, Injury set Bologna here, pretty, pretty simple, honestly. Let's see if we can find one more to fight against. I'll let you lick my feet. It is now 6 p.m. in my country, which means, oh, come on. Really, that happened? That happens, dude? Ah, yeah, God, God. We're gonna try and test this in Arena then, I guess. We're gonna try this out. I think this will be quite a good test because we're facing a very, I would say, obvious <laughs> adamant Aureus. We're gonna try to burn the Bologna. Powell's gonna kill the Bologna. And we're gonna outslot into Operator Secret into killing the Charles. We're gonna have to actually bring her to the limits. Can her S2 kill off the Charles? What I'm expecting is for her to do like maybe 17k from damage if it's actually Adam Oris. I actually didn't check. Ah, god damn it, I, I missed it. I might actually just do on um, Pavel Solburn. Oh, come on, really? Well, here we go. Can Operator Secret actually do what an operator does in first person shooter games? And that looks like it. There we go. That's 23k. That's pretty decent. I don't know if it's always adamant, but that's pretty decent. And another idea um, one of the people in Discord had was using Wall of Order on her. Yeah, Greater Attack would actually just nuke anything, but nonetheless, we killed someone, that means we get another turn, and this will actually push them back and gives us give us even more attack moments tonight. Like, and boom. Actually, good damage as well, that's that's pretty insane. Now we can just simply, I don't even need the Soul Rune. because we had the buff from Sigrid, that means we can just do, um, how is S3 should kill the Bologna? This actually neuters a lot of FCC comps, and yeah, it's, it's Elbris, so <laughs> there goes the Adamant Aureus. Right, another thing, I'm, another thing about Operator Sigrid is her ability to heal with S1. From what I've heard, S1 doesn't really heal too much, but we'll have to see later though. So this S1, it actually recovers health based on the caster's attack, which I do have like 3200 if I recall. So yeah, let's see how it heals. And it healed for... Did I crit? I didn't even see, but it shouldn't matter if I crit or not because it's based off of my attack. So that was like a 1.4k heal. That's actually not that good. I'm honestly thinking of very plausible pure bruiser build on Operator Secret. I think that would actually make sense. Yep, it is. 1.4k, um, 1.5k. 1.5k heal per S1. Well, at least she won't be killed by a random FCC S1, which is, I mean, it's, it's handy to have. It really doesn't help too much, I guess. I mean, it helps not too much. 
Without the barrier, I do think we'll still do quite a bit. Now we have attack buff, and they do have, do not even have Orius. What's that? Right? All right, it's 7.5k. That's really not that crazy. But I do believe her real value comes with the fact that she also has this S3 to come with. There we go. That actually did quite a bit. There goes that. If I'm being completely honest, I really didn't have to use her. This simply suggests that a speedy DPS build might not be the best build for her. I'm considering making her really, really quick just for the first turn S3 into the second turn S2. Her base speed is not the highest out there, so she can still be outsped by most Flitikas, most Cerises. So I would say one of the better artifacts for her to use is a potential Guiding Light. And her value is probably where she would S3. Attack buffs on everyone. Second turn, nuke some of S2. I do think that's probably the better way to use her. For this showcase, I think I did show mainly her S2's capabilities and not much S3's because I didn't really utilize S3 too much. And in future videos, I might kind of just make her all around. Like, I'll try and make the whole kit work. A unit to me. If a unit can utilize all their skills, skill 1, skill 2, skill 3, if they can use all of that to their advantage, that will be a very decent unit. And that is all for today. You could comment down below if you have any team in mind or any setup, any builds you have in mind. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.